hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to do um uh, i'm so excited first of all about this video because i have new stuff that i'm going to be like reviewing and trying out for the first time so that's the cause of my excitement basically and uh, yeah let's just get ready because right now we are looking beautiful but not best <laughs> so let's just get into the video and I'm actually filming at night, so if I look tired and worn out, you guys have to understand, okay? Yeah, so let's just get into the video, yeah? So the first thing that I'm actually going to do, because my face is really, really dry, as you can see... I've just washed it basically i've just washed my face so i'm going to be trying out this serum guys it's uh i've not even read it i've just received the package today from jumia and as you can see it actually says new right here which means that it's a new product or a new product range it's a nivea um luminous anti-dark marks i don't know whether you can see how it is written it's written luminous anti dark marks so this is what i'm trying out today it's a serum advanced treatment um that is supposed to be it says lumina 630 patented it's supposed to in four weeks <clears throat> sorry guys it's at the end of the day so i'm sounding like i've just woken up but it's at the end of the day so it says that in four weeks my spots are supposed to be visibly reduced so guys, tell me after four weeks whether my spots are visibly reduced. As you can see, they are okay. all over the place like this. The I'm cap there. now, this cap it does not close. I don't know why. Okay, it does. It does. It's just that it's an awkward cap. It's the kind of cap that... I don't know. So I'm just going to try and pump a few of this. Apply to cleanse face morning and evening before your daily skincare routine. Spread the serum all over your face. So we are basically just going to spread the serum. I don't know how to apply on my... I normally just go direct in. Okay, that has taken... I think the first pump takes some... T okay, that was a waste of serum. But it actually is colored. Like, it's a colored serum. I thought it would be like a water serum. Like, completely not colored but it's fine doesn't have that normal nivea smell for those of you who've used nivea products you know that they have a specific smell scent let's say let's not call it a smell so i'm just going to apply this now i have just thrown this far away again now filming at night is not funny People are tired people want to sleep and all but we'll just try so the next thing i'm going to do is just i'm going to draw in the eyebrows which is and as i told you guys i normally do them really high like a drag drag queen but that's just me okay wow <laughs> Now my pencil was thick so they're gonna be thick but that's okay okay so what i'm going to do next is also very unconventional i normally take a bottle of mascara and just i don't know go ham with it <laughs> it's called it's called using available resources guys Okay, sometimes it stains, as you can see, there's a giant mascara stain right here, but it's okay. We'll sort that out. Okay, now that we are slightly done with those eyebrows, 
Now this stain is the problem. That looks better. Slightly. Okay, now that we are done with that. Shampoo to your health. So LA Gal Pro Concealer, which is this tiny thing in the shade Fawn. So that's what I'm going to use right now. And I like using it for eyebrows because of this tiny, tiny brush. It has a brush, so you can just like be precise with it. I'm also supposed to like test out a new foundation shade that not shade a new foundation from another brand that I've never tried before and I'm going to try it out today so I'm just crossing my fingers that everything is well with that brand like I chose the right shade because I've never used that brand and sometimes this online like testers whether they are quizzes or applications or whatever are never really accurate so i just hope that that foundation will be my shade because as you know if you've been following me for a long time you know that i've had a really tough time finding foundation especially because my skin color fluctuates like the i don't know like a chameleon guys my skin color fluctuates like a chameleon so since i work in the sun i practically do work in the sun sometimes i'm super dark sometimes i'm super light sometimes i'm in between sometimes i'm just patches you know so i don't know but i hope this is the right shade for me yeah so let me just use this brush and just brush out this So this Nivea serum, I like it. I just hope it has a good effect on the skin because it claims like it has some already patented stuff in it, like stuff that no other company has. So let us see. Yeah, as you can see, the eyebrow is looking good, looking good. Uh, my son will come any minute, any second he wants to sleep. So I really have to hurry up. I have like three videos I'm supposed to film today. Today being a Saturday, that is. Um, okay, that is done. Let's just move on to the next thing, which is actually what? Um, I think I'll do eyeshadow first before I do the foundation because I like a clean foundation. So eyeshadow first, and I think I will apply the... Did I really carry any? Let me use this Maybelline. This Maybelline Concealer, New York Fit Me Concealer in the shade Caramel, which is number 40. And I'm just going to dab a few of it into my eyes, not into, onto my eyes. Just like that. Yeah, so, and then I'm just going to use this Beauty Blender just to make it spread evenly before I apply the eyeshadow. Yeah. Now, let me tell you, okay, of course I have to talk because guys, I'm doing my makeup and I have to talk and I'm doing a get ready with me. <laughs> I'm not really the kind of person to talk by the way, especially when I'm focused on doing something. That's why I normally prefer videos where I don't have to talk, yeah. So, <clears throat> I don't know what your experience has been with Jumia, but I personally feel that Jumia is a hit and miss thing. And uh, just like AliExpress, it's really, really a hit and miss thing. And I've had really bad experiences with Jumia sometimes, and I've had really good ones. So for example, I've had sales that have gone really well, like when Jumia does a sale. I've had um, like purchases that were really worth it. And then I've also had purchases that were really, really bad. For example, I've ever used um, purchased, I'm just trying to open this uh, Maybelline Burgundy Bar. I know it looks disgusting, but it's actually because I got it online and they had really wrapped tape around it. And you know, when you remove tape, how it leaves it in a messy situation. So this is actually tape that was wrapped here. 
That's why it's really disgusting. Just forgive me for that. I'm just trying to open it up and I want to take a shade, right? This one here, just to highlight my eyebrows. Yeah, so to just make them pop and look more natural. Of course, they look really unnaturally high, but that's okay for me. <laughs> for me, I feel like that is okay. Okay. And they may not be even looking, but I think the wig will cover this side. So that's also fine. Like this is a different shape and this is a different shape, clearly. So as I was saying about Jumia, there's a time I've ever bought products on Jumia that were on sale. I don't want to hate or anything of the sort. I'm not the kind of person to hate because sellers are different on Jumia. So um, now from just a major store, I bought products like a major, major sale. I'm telling you when they arrived, they'd been marked down to like about half price. When they arrived, legit, those products were like some of them, not all of them. Some of those products were like three days to expiring. Tell me how you're going to use a whole tube of lipstick for three, within three days. Three days to expire. And they legit I'm sold sure those things. Take, and this uh, was a major store. Sure is yellow, yeah. no? Okay, I'm just going to take a yellow shade and just apply it like in the crease of my eye. I said I wanted to do orange. I mean, I'm not supposed to use a darker shade. Yeah, but we'll just see how it will go. So I'm just going to apply this yellow in the crease of my eye and kind of like outward. You get the drift. <laughs> outward towards that way and i'm gonna repeat the same thing on this side i don't know what to call it ombre and now this red i'm gonna apply it also like on the outer corner of my eye like that that's what i'm gonna do with the red just on the outer corner of the eye and also kind of in the crease. So, yeah. Just going to apply it there, right there, like just creating a gradient. I don't know whether you can see, but yeah, so that is that. I don't think I'm even gonna do eyelashes today because my son is so sleepy, he's sleepy head. Yeah, so that is that. Mm, looking fine looking fine i'm just going to now take this yellow and like blend it like right outward oh this ring has gotten caught right there uh, we have to blend kind of looking like a sunset what is that i'm just going to use mascara Scara is your best friend if you cannot use lashes. So I'm just going to use this Maybelline mascara and I'm just going to cube, cube. I'm just going to look up and do this lower one. I think that's okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to test out this foundation that I got off Jumia again. 
And the reason I was mentioning that story about how I bought products on Jumia in a sale, and then some of them were like two days to expiry, and Jumia had not stated that before purchasing, or the seller basically had not stated that before purchasing, is because I got this next thing like for a marked down price. Now, this clinic, it's a foundation by Clinique and it's the even better makeup SPF 15 evens and corrects foundation basically and I got it in the shade 120 which is pecan and I have never used this and I'm just hoping that it is my shade because I've ever used the Revlon photo ready foundation in the shade pecan so I'm assuming the pecan is a good color for me and let's just open it so I'm crossing my fingers that it's not expired also and uh, I don't know where I can get the expiry date this says made in Belgium but I cannot see where it it was manufactured before in 2020 it's expiring in 2023 so it was actually worth it so yeah it was kind of marked down wow i like the bottle it's so pretty i wish you guys could see look at that oh wow it's pretty it just says clinic i don't know this thing see this okay let me put it close and then try and okay this thing never focuses so i'm just wasting my time but you get the picture that's how it looks so what I'm going to do, I think it's a full coverage foundation. I'm hoping that it will cover these dark spots and all. So let me just try and apply it. Oh God, it's okay. It's it's a tube like this. So it's like spilled all over. But oh my God, I think this is actually my shade. Yeah. Because, wow. Do I look? Yep, this could actually be my shade because it does look slightly darker though but than these cheeks of mine. But definitely the cheeks right now are light because we are wearing face masks. So let me just try and like apply it direct because it's a tube and you know me, I like applying direct. So I'm just going to apply direct. And it's quite a lot. It's not little. It, this is actually my head, guys. Even the spots are like disappearing. Like they kind of look like they are part of my skin compared to all the other foundations I've ever used. So I did pretty well in picking the foundation. We'll see whether it's really full coverage and nice and as hyped as it was. I bought this from the Linton store on Jumia. I'm just going to use this tiny, tiny brush. Forgive me, guys, but because it's also flat, I hope it will cover the spots because it says that it covers spots. I hope it doesn't dry out really, really fast. But I do feel like it's doing a good. Oh my god, this is actually like so my color, except it's kind of red. It's kind of red, so, but it's my color, guys. Are you seeing? It's covered all the spots. Oh my god. Wow. Sincerely, it's covered all the spots. Do you see any sports? Oh my goodness. I'm never going back. <laughs> okay, it's getting in the face. It's getting in the way. This blends so well. I'm not gonna lie, this blends so so well. Oh my god, and it makes your skin look dewy. It doesn't have a matte finish as such. Wait, is this really my skin tone? Yeah. And what? It's red, guys. It's darker slightly, as I can see. It doesn't really match my neck. 
but it's close it's really really close like it actually is i think it is this is definitely my skin tone i'm not forcing tell me in the comment section if you think this is finally the the foundation that i'm supposed to use because i've used plenty of wrong shades is it necessary for me to add it's not i've already put a lot it's not it's not let me just try and blend it and then try and put concealer It has done a good job. It has. I cannot lie. It has tried to do a really, really good job. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to take my concealer, which I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me concealer, as I said, in the shade Caramel, uh, the one that I used for the eyeshadow. And I'm just going to apply it on my eyes. It's like, oh, wow, that is so... First, first of all, I'm just going to dab like some eyeshadow, some white eyeshadow, like in in the inner corners of my eyes, just to make my eyes open up. Like literally dabbing, like just dabbing, not applying. So there, my eyes are kind of open. <laughs> So what I'm going to do next is that I'm actually going to apply this Maybelline concealer to conceal my eye bags. And I'm like applying it like that to make my eyes sharper. So next I'm just going to take this brush that I always use like dab the concealer and then we'll proceed. Mm -hmm. Okay, next I'm just going to take a beauty blender just to make it even. As you can see, there are patches. So I'm just gonna like really, really even that out. No, I feel like this um, foundation is really red. Maybe I should have taken one that has like cooler or neutral undertones. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to use the setting powder I've always used for a really long time. And I don't think I brought it here. Wow. So let me just go get my setting powders and then I'll be back. I'm just going to take this Nisha Buttercup setting powder and I'm just going to apply it to set that concealer. To set it. To set it up. That's it just yeah, set it up. Can I be demonetized it's for singing along? That if I'm really monetized, <laughs> funny. So that's fun and fine. Fine. Good. I'm just going to line my lips so that they can be nice and warm and juicy all in one. 
now that they're dead. Where's your plan? Ah, where do I put the lips? Okay. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to apply this in the center before I blend it out to create an ombre effect. Wow, you can imagine how that lipstick will look if I don't blend it out. All around there, it's in the shade so shady. Because I want like a glossy effect. Trust the process, guys. Just trust the process. The other one that I used was the Maybelline. I think uh, the shade is Amazonia and it's a matte lipstick. I can't remember the name. So course we can go around like this so we're just going to try and blend that out to like create an ombra like that <laughs> yeah that that looks a bit better and more sane so just because okay so it was the maybelline superstay matte ink in the shade amazonia which i'm going to reapply right here in the center like that yeah like that yeah so now that that is done, I'm just going to take, uh, to remove first of all this excess powder. This excess powder has got to go. I hope you guys can hear me. So the excess powder has got to go. And then I'm going to use a setting powder and some highlights. And then after that, we have to be fabulous. My goodness, I have not contoured my nose. The African nose has got to go. <laughs> okay. Let me first contour, then finish all the setting that I can set. Yeah, you yeah, know. Because it's still shiny right here. So let me finish up with the contouring. The contouring. And I usually just use a, an eyeshadow brush to contour. I hope this one does not have glitters. I use a tiny eyeshadow brush. Then I take a super, super dark brown shade of eyeshadow that is matte. That's why I told you this is not a tutorial. a crooked nose guys I broke it when I was small but I need to chop it off right here so it does not look like it's so long actually done with the nose contour we are gonna set the rest of the face 
and then I'll highlight it and then we'll call it a look. So where's the setting powder? Where's the other? Okay, so I'm using this with me Maybelline foundation in the shade 330, which is toffee. I don't know how toffee and pecan are gonna go, but we're gonna try. I just use the Maybelline caramel setting powder. Then it was sold out. Then I discovered that all of them look the same. <laughs> This foundation, what I've noticed about it is that it doesn't leave a matte finish. It leaves like a dewy, nice finish. So if you have like youthful skin, it's good for you. If you have youthful skin and you want to look dewy and nice, this foundation is it. It's actually the kind of foundation that will make you, give you a natural look. So like if you go bare, it's gonna give you a natural look. So what am I gonna do? Is I'm taking this setting spray, spraying my brush so that it can pick up every single crumb of highlight. And then I'll take the Master Chrome highlighter. The Master Chrome, oh my god, look at how these shoes have vineyard them. Oh my god. So we shoot. Oh, shoes. Ouch. Oh. They are deformed. But that's a story for another day. So I'm going to pick up lots of it. And I'm just going to like dab. Oh, wow. Just to add a little more highlight to the already highlighted face. Oh my. Oh my. There's a lot. There's a lot. A little bit. Looks like. I'm worried about that sheen. We're done. We are practically done, guys. So let's do that. Let's just compare and I'll be back. So this is the final look. Hmm. I'll see you in my next video.